Hi, this is Rajendran from uh, Market Calls and uh, in our last video tutorial we discussed about how to install Python in uh, uh, Windows and in this uh, video tutorial we will be discussing about more about uh, Zipline. Zipline is a Pythonic library from uh, Quantofian. So I am just going to Google and type Zipline Quantopian. So the package is in the GitHub. I'm just going to uh, Quantopian uh, Zipline uh, package. So it's an open source package. It's an uh, open source uh, Pythonic uh, library. It's more of a uh, backtesting engine, and uh, it has an uh, ability to uh, uh, download the data from uh, um, Yahoo Finance. And you can do the backtest, you can put some uh, mathematical uh, models on top of it uh, and you can backtest it. So basically we, we are, uh, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about how to install Zipline in your Windows machine. Right? So, so there is an easy way here, I mean uh, it, it explains you need a uh, pip, you need a pip. And uh, pip is an uh, Python uh, package installer. I mean, it's in one uh, simple line command based installer to install any packages like numpy or scipy, I mean, uh, or zipline. So, first uh, to install pip, uh, we have to go to the website called uh, pip installer.org. Just going to the going to that site. So there is an installation guidelines here, go to the installation guidelines and we have to download the pip, right click, save link us, get pip. I'm just saving it in my downloads folder, save it. So it got downloaded, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the file from here, click open. So basically it downloads the uh, pip uh, files and after that we have to include the script variable in the path folder. So this is not done automatically and uh, this is not done automatically. So we need to enable the scripts command in the, our environmental folder and the system environmental variable. So I'm just going to system again system and I'm just going to system advanced settings I'm just going to environmental settings going to the python path so I'm just going to add a new uh, variable here the python scripts path to here added so how to test whether uh, pip has been installed or not so now to test it out i'm just uh, going to my command prompt cmd command prompt from here i'm just type pip and enter um, if it's saying something it means i mean uh, the pip is installed and uh, it is ready so now just going to the guidelines here, zip installation guidelines, zip installation guidelines. It says once the pip is installed, we have to install the package numpy. So installing a numpy yeah, is not recommended using pip, uh, however you will be doing with zipline. The reason is numpy is a very huge package. So it's better to download the direct uh, Windows binaries. So if you want to uh, download the direct by Windows binaries, you can go to Google and type um, Python Python Windows libraries. So here are the pre-compiled packages. Here you can download it. So I have compiled a list of uh, essential Python packages required for an uh, Quants. So here are some of them and uh, the packages are numpy, it is a fundamental package needed for scientific computing with python, 
and SciPy is a software for once again it's a uh, Windows uh, uh, Python, I mean, it's a Pythonic uh, package for uh, mathematics and science and engineering related mathematical functions and uh, pandas is if you want to include if you want to fetch or uh, retrieve or uh, compute on an uh, uh, time series data like an open high low close kind of stuff then yes pandas is the right package and uh, ipython is an interactive uh, uh, computing environment where we can uh, 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 easily uh, uh, do any complex programming stuff uh, um, and uh, we can execute it uh, part uh, and uh, we can see the result instantly. Uh, it's an, it's an, uh, basically it's a very interactive uh, computing environment. And Zipline once again it's a Python algo trading uh, library. Library, okay. So I mean, uh, as of now these four packages are available uh, as a Windows library here, I downloaded in my local desktop. I downloaded in my local desktop here. I'm just going to install one by one. First of all, I'm going to install NumPy. NumPy. Next, next, next. Install. So NumPy installation is done. So it takes a little time. So in the meantime, there is one more library called matplotlib. The mat matplotlib uh, basically used to plot uh, graphical uh, functions. I mean, if, if you want to plot the charts, open, high, low, close, or your favorite mathematical model indicators, then matplotlib is the one which is going to do the work. I'll, now I'll try to install uh, pandas. Install pandas is a pretty small package. However, like the other essentials like NumPy, SciPy are very huge packages. It's more than about 70 MB when uh, each file comes around 70 MB. Python pandas is hardly 3 MB file, but still it's recommended to do with the Windows library. Finished off. And then uh, IPython. So once again, small uh, utility. Run anyway. Yes. So next, next, next. So the installation of uh, IPython um, is the one which is very essential for uh, if you are going to use a uh, quantum field zipline uh, pythonic library then uh, I mean, uh, it's pretty recommended to go with IPython uh, rather than with a normal IDE kind of stuff. Done. So, so far we are done with the matplotlib, IPython and numpy installation is going on. Pandas is done, so matplotlib and scipy still remain. So matplotlib, I'm installing now. So the installation is done for matplotlib. Done. And uh, scipy installation is still pending. Scipy. Trying to install SciPy. Yes. Next, next, next. So, any scientific libraries you want to refer, you can uh, go with SciPy package. We discuss a lot about NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, how to use it. We'll give us a couple of examples in subsequent sessions. As of now, this uh, setup is concerned much with uh, installation and uh, setup of the basic utilities.
Alright. So still uh, the number is still pending. Try to install one more time. Let's see. Yes, the installation for NumPy is done. We close the previous installation. Right click and close. So now all the installation is done now. And uh, uh, the only thing pending is zipline. Probably for uh, zipline we can use a pip command to uh, do the rest of the stuff. For zipline. So pip install zipline. I'm copying this. Click. Now, so far, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, uh, SciPy is done. And uh, right now, I'm going for zipline, right click and paste, press enter. So it's trying to download the zipline package and I'm trying to unpack it. So, the logbook is one of the utility here, as mentioned here, the logbook. It's trying to download the PYTZ. So PYTZ is once again a dependency. And then uh, it's calling a request. Request is again a dependency. So it's trying to install now zipline, logbook, PYTZ, request, 6, Python, date util. So these are the I mean, uh, other dependencies which will come. Uh, along with the zipline package yes now the zipline installation is done in subsequent tutorial we will try to uh, do some exercise with uh, uh, ipython combined with uh, um, uh, zipline so we will try to do some exercise on top of it how to do some basic testing i mean basic back testing uh, we will go through it so step by step okay but thanks for uh, watching this tutorial um, stay tuned with my podcast. Thank you.